A bit of magic is happening at the San Antonio Zoo. Dragons have taken over a new outdoor exhibit. Ken's 5's Lexi Hazelet takes you there on this week's Everything 210. Watching dragons come to life, all while trying a turkey leg, butterbeer, and dragon's blood. Yeah, we'll get back to that later. You might think we're in an episode of Game of Thrones, but this property is owned by the San Antonio Zoo. And let's just say it's roaring with excitement. We had this area of undeveloped land and we really were trying to think of how can we utilize this to help the zoo. And we knew that there were some dragons that we might be able to bring and hence we ended up with Dragon Forest. It's a concept that started because the zoo wanted to make something fun and outdoors for all ages. Everybody loves Harry Potter, not to mention the Renaissance festivals. So we've tried to combine all of those things here. The exhibit, open on weekends and soon to be open each day this summer, is behind the zoo's new parking garage. And Hope told us, expect to be entertained. Throughout the summer, we're also going to have themed weekends. So you can dress up like your Harry Potter and you'll be able to dress up as your Game of Thrones. And we promised you a look at that one menu item dragon's blood. Don't worry, it's not blood, but it actually has a little fireball in it, so it's reminiscent of a dragon's blood. Creature features will also happen a few times a day here, like this show, involving some pretty cool birds. But she did tell us, recovering from the financial losses brought about by the pandemic and the winter storm haven't been easy. 2020 was a difficult year for everyone, but it especially affected us here at the zoo. We rely 100% on ticket sales, donations, and corporate sponsorships to stay open, to feed the animals, and to take care of everybody. So if you want to help an organization that's trying to bring something fun and different to the 210, you can find this story on kins5.com and our Kins5 app. Lexi Hazlett, Kins5, Eyewitness News.